<laughs> you know, you don't, you never think it's going to happen to you. You hear about other people. I couldn't believe it really. I mean, I was, then I was 44 years old. So I mean, how can that be? How can I have a heart attack? tennis and I was play, uh, about to play in a competition and I'd not had trouble, I played quite happily uh, but this particular day I went out on the grass to warm up and this funny sensation across my chest. So that was pretty scary and they did a triple my pass and after that it's, it's just Crotsville, you're so incapable of doing nearly anything. For the first few days after the operation it's not good. <laughs> Everything hurts and you've lots of equipment monitoring you. And the thing in your net that goes to about three machines and tubes in here and drain things in your chest and um, generally it's not good. It was really scary, most men particularly. Um, he was quite devastated. I mean, he tried not to show him, but we know each other so well and knew he was dead scared. And, um, you know, they thought they weren't going to have me for much longer. My husband, particularly, uh, was really devastated. You know, he, he was scared sick. And by that time, I was going to heartbeats by then and um, you meet all these other people who have similar but not the same as you some have had the same but a lot of people had different kinds of things for the heart and um, and that's encouraging because you think well all these people are being made better and everybody's really fragile when they come it's amazing you, there were a couple of um, long distance lorry drivers and they were only in the 40s you know almost half my age and that's really frightening for them, you know, they lost their job because they can't drive when you've got this kind of problem. I had this, um, I had this, dis all I can describe is a, is a discomfort in me, in my stomach really. And this was going on for a few days. Um, I mean, I never at one point thought there was anything like that happening to me. So, so I, I decided on the Sunday morning um, that I was going to go to Preston Hospital and hopefully go in, get a prescription and come out. So um, eight o'clock I went in and then I just never I just never got out. I was having a heart attack. It was a blocked artery and um, yeah it was a, a shock to the system that. I uh, couldn't believe it. Um, well nobody could you know it's like you know Graham's had an heart attack you know it's blocked artery it's just it can't be that you know that that man's unstoppable. You certainly don't look after yourself when you're running your own business and you're really really busy. Uh, you do sort of neglect yourself, and I do feel, yeah, that that looking back at it now, that definitely contributed towards it. You know, I feel so lucky, really lucky, to um, now move on. I'm I'm nearly two years on from the worst part of it. And I've had another grandson since then, who's an absolute joy. Um, and my children have done different things, my grand grandchildren have done different things, uh, which I've shared in, and that's a privilege. And, um, well, it's just, I'm just so lucky. I can't believe how lucky I've been. But you start the heartbeat thing, and those you know those girls and, and those lads they get you going, they build your confidence up, they start you know exercising you, and and then and then start to stretch you, and 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 without that, um, I don't know how you'd be if you didn't go through that court, if you didn't go through that procedure, or if you didn't do that course, um, I don't know where you'd be. So really, the whole thing's been an education for me but a good education, and I think I've come out at the other end um, knowing a lot more, and I'm probably a better person.